In breaking news, car dealers are such manipulative assholes. Who knew? Welcome to the very first episode of a brand new series called What the Fack. You have to be careful how you say that on national TV. This one is inspired by Brian, who writes thus. I recently bought a Sportage via your fleet buyers with great results. Yesterday, I sat in with my partner at a dealership to prevent a rip-off whilst she signed up for a new Serato. Despite us saying that we wanted no add-ons, a pushy female came up and tried to sell us paint protection at over $2,000. When we refused, she wanted us to sign a waiver which stated that the benefits had been explained and because we had declined, there would be no warranty if a paint fault came to light. To me, this is illegal and I explain the law regarding reasonable expectation of quality for the consumer. I'm John Cadogan, Senior Vice President of Bullshit Adjudication here at autoexpert.com.au, the place where Aussie new car buyers save thousands without being subject to these typical BS dealership upselling scams. Hit me up on the website for that, except of course if you're a masochist. Everything, I guess, is a good news, bad news story. The good news is that intensive competition in the market drives dealership profits down. There's less margin in new cars today than ever before, and new cars have never been cheaper in real terms. But the bad news is that dealers are cunning, creative mother lovers, and they're quite happy to sell you anything to alleviate this pressure on their profits especially stuff that you absolutely don't need. And on this issue of their profits, you know, still quite high, obviously. Look around at the real estate, the buildings, and the dealer principal's third wife's premium silicon breasts. Car dealerships remain very profitable indeed. Speaking of fake chuzzies, the car buying process is an arduous endurance event. And with the finish line in sight, you know, the hapless buyer is often confronted with these protection offers, invariably served up by a surgically augmented former fluffer named Melanie. The name being a poignant literal truth in many cases. Melanie emptied her bank account all over those fake breasts and she's unafraid to use them. Her objective is pretty simple, to get you to dive right in and motorboat your way to buying a bunch of crap that you absolutely do not need while you are mentally diverted Dreaming sweet dreams on a sea of silicon. Paint protection is unequivocally bullshit. Modern automotive paint has a rock hard clear coat over the colour. And the clear coat does not need protecting. I guess you could wax the car twice a year if you want it looking nice into the future. But as for applying some magic chemical applied in the ancient Mr Miyagi Karate Kid wax on wax off tradition which lasts the life of the car and is harder than a diamond and which compensates for the factory paint's alleged shittedness. Well, if you believe this, then perhaps I can also interest you in the newly discovered health benefits of crystal meth. I just did a random Google search of paint protection and I got Ceramic Pro. The future is now, they claim. Ceramic Pro is an alleged, quote, nano-ceramic permanent adhesion paint protection and of which their promotional video claims the product is a, quote, a glass shield. Mate, I mean, come on, don't waste my time here. Glass shield sounds like a Marvel Avenger who failed superhero school. Ceramics are in fact made from clay that's been hardened by heat, whereas glass is what happens when you fuse silica, soda ash, and limestone together in a furnace at 1700 degrees C. So you can have one or the other, I guess, but probably not both. Dear Ceramic Pro dudes, get your pseudoscientific story straight, please. These claims are detestable. They fail to stack up to even basic technical scrutiny. The upsell is essentially fear. You know, fear that you are letting your new car down if you don't drop an additional two grand on this crap. It's a car, you know, not a friggin' baby, and you're a buyer, not the parent. 
Fear is quite effective as sales tools go, I guess, but if fear doesn't work, Melanie trots out the big guns. The disclaimer. Don't say we didn't warn you when Satan himself emerges from that bird shit on your paint and casts your warranty into the pit of hell where the paint will be flayed from your new baby's skin in violent, brutal agony for all eternity. Or perhaps you'd like to reconsider. Using the implied threat of non-warranty coverage is absurd, possibly even illegal. Products must be reasonably durable under Australian consumer law. That's not optional. If paint protection was so damn critical, it would be manufacturer specified at the service department. It would be a requirement, and clearly it's not. Maybe they'd even put it on, on the production line. Or maybe it's just pseudoscientific bullshit. Isn't it funny, or perhaps coincidental, how only the people actually recommending that shit are also selling it? Knock me down with that feather. I wonder how, in this case, Kia, and let's face it, all other brands, feel about their dealers routinely, falsely and disingenuously representing the paintwork on all those brand new vehicles as implicitly deficient, bordering on shit, because of this allegedly imperative but logically absurd requirement to protect the paint at the point of sale. You'll never see any acknowledgement that they really haven't cracked the durability code for automotive paint yet on a car maker website, that's for sure, along with a recommendation to procure some nano ceramic rocking horse shit if you want to do the right thing by your new car. So somebody, someone here is bullshitting you and the smart money is on the impressively endowed former fluffer. Melanie and her two polyacrylamide hydrogel puppies are not offering you paint protection to protect your car. The puppies are just a diversion and she's the closer. They work together to comprise a classic ambush predator. The three musketeers of accessorization are offering you paint protection because if they make their quota this month, they will make a very healthy financial commission. And if said commission is achieved, Melanie and the twins will bask on the beach in Tahiti, the better to be seen from the International Space Station, safely protected by the diligent application of SPF 50 plus sunscreen and that would be, I guess, the only protective coating that Melanie ever touches, which is not actually some appalling scam. All protection packages on offer at all dealerships, the rust proofing, the fabric protection, and particularly the paint protection, are all an unjustified upsell designed only to rip you off and pump up the profit. Just say no and definitely do not sign any waivers. Enjoy the view, but don't get swept away. Remember the golden rule in this situation. You've got the gold, you make the rules. There's a $2,000 saving right there on your next new car, if that's all you do. I hope it helps. I'm John Cadogan. Thanks for watching.